Hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, voice narrated video tutorial. Um, this is part one. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I color skin in Photoshop. So here we have a rather messy and plain looking line art of one of my original characters, Morgan. Uh, she is the clumsy secretary of um, Mr. Maru Omiyaka and um, today we're going to color her. So. The first step would obviously be to get your line art ready and clean and ready for colouring and everything. And then um, from there on we take it uh, further. Okay, obviously we'd make a new layer underneath the line art now. And choose a nice uh, colour suitable for colouring skin with. Then the first step would be to f simply just flat colour the entire skin area that, you'd, uh, that you want coloured. And then uh, to clean up any bits if you go out of the lines. It doesn't really matter if you go out of the lines or not. Um, preferably not on the background area or parts that you might not color. But um, for example, if I when I go out of the lines um, at her hair area, it would be alright because I c I'll color it over it later. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lock the transparency on this layer by pressing the button over here. Um, then uh, we'll continue with the hard brush set on 100% opacity, 100% flow, and we're going to take a, a darker color of the one we just used, or it really depends on the lighting. And then we're just going to lay down some simple shadows, just very basic shadows, wherever, wherever you think the light would be affecting the shaded, shaded area. Alright, this is the fun part. Now we're going to make the shadows look a tiny bit uh, softer um, not by using the smudge tool, because Photoshop smudge tools are seriously... Um, they're not very good to use. They're not very nice. Uh, they, don't, they give a bad effect. So um, we're going to use a soft brush, lower the opacity down, lower the flow down, depending on... Um, it doesn't really matter. I put mine to around 45%, but um, whatever works for you. Then we're going to take the same color and just soften up the shadows a little bit. Don't rush this step or else things will come out looking rather icky. Alright, now that we've softened up our shadows a little bit, you can always go back with the hard brush and sharpen them up on certain parts that you'd like uh, crisper, otherwise they'd become boring and uninteresting. Alright, we're going to go back to using our soft brush, but now we're going to take a slightly darker and redder color, lay down darker shadows. You can repeat this step as many times as you feel that uh, the drawing needs. And then if you mess up accidentally, you can always just uh, alt and click on the color that uh, uh, nearby color and just fix it up. 
Alright, there we go. The next step is optional, but I like to add it to um, add some color to the skin. Um, mostly, usually around the cheek area, face area, and sometimes on the shoulders as well. But I take a slight orangey reddish color and lay down some uh, blush on the cheeks. On a new layer, by the way. If the character is female, I like to do it to the lips as well, and then sometimes the nose, and then the shoulders. Uh, a good idea would be to lower your opacity, keep your opacity low and your flow low, otherwise it comes out looking very, very, very rouge, that's not what you want. Okay, now I'm going to take a slightly whiter color, put some highlights on the cheeks, and on the shoulders, and the lips and nose. And we're done with the skin. It was a, re a rather easy process, and um, if you have any additional questions, you're welcome to send me a message or anything. And um, I hope you enjoyed my first voice narrated tutorial. Um, I suppose I'll see you all later.